Saint Augustine commentary on the Gospel of John chapter 14 following. But what is this that follows? Amen, amen, I say unto you, he that believes on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. And so he promised that he himself would also do those greater works. Let not the servant exalt himself above his Lord, or the disciple above his master. He says that they will do greater works than he does himself, but it is all by his doing such in or by them, and not as they did them of themselves. Hence the song that is addressed to him, I will love you, O Lord, my strength. Psalm 18, verse 1. But one, but what then are those greater works? Was it that their very shadow, as they themselves passed by, healed the sick? Acts chapter 5, verse 15. For it is a mightier thing for a shadow than for the hem of a garment to possess the power of healing. Matthew chapter 14, verse 36. The one work was done by Christ himself, the other by them, and yet it was he that did both. Nevertheless, when he spoke, he was commanding the efficacious power. Of his own words. For it was in this sense he had said, The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwells in me, he does the works. What works was he then referring to, but the words he was speaking? They were hearing and believing, and their faith was the fruit of those very words. Howbeit, when the disciples preached the gospel, it was not small numbers like themselves, but nations also that believed. And such doubtless are greater works. And yet he said not greater works than these shall you do, to lead us to suppose that it was only the apostles who would do so. For he added, he that believes on me the works that I do, shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do. Is the case then so that he that believes on Christ does the same works as Christ, or even greater than he did? Points like these are not to be treated in a cursory way, nor are they to be hurriedly disposed of, and therefore, as our present discourse must be brought to a close, we are obliged to defer their further consideration. Tractatus 72 on the same passage. It is not easy matter to comprehend what is meant by, or in what sense we are to receive these words of the Lord, he that believes on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And then, to this great difficulty in the way of our understanding, he has added another still more difficult, and greater things than these shall he do. What are we to make of it? We have not found one who did such works as Christ did. And are we likely to find one who will do even greater? But we remarked in our last discourse that it was a greater deed to heal the sick by the passing of their shadow, as was done by the disciples, than as the Lord himself did by the touch of the hem of his garment, 
and that more believed on the apostles than on the Lord himself when preaching with his own lips, so that we might suppose works like these to be understood as greater. Not that the disciple was to be greater than his master, or the servant than his Lord, or the adopted son than the only begotten, or man than God, but that by them he himself would condescend to do these greater works, while telling them in another passage, Without me you can do nothing. Chapter 15, verse 5 while he himself, on the other hand, to say nothing of his other works, which are numberless, made them without any aid from themselves, and without them made this world, and because he himself thought meet to become man, without them he made also himself. But what have they made or done without him save sin? And last of all, he straight away also withdrew from the subject all that could cause us agitation. For after saying, He that believes on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do. He immediately went on to add, Because I go, because I go unto the Father, and whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do. He who had said he will do afterwards said, I will do, as if he had said, Let not this appear to you impossible. For he that believes on me can never become greater than I am, but it is I who shall then be doing greater things than now. Greater things by him that believe on me than by myself apart from him, yet it is I myself apart from him. And I myself by him that will do the works, and as it is apart from him, it is not he that will do them. And as on the other hand it is by him, although not by his own self, it is he also that will do them. And besides, to do greater things by one than apart from one is not a sign of deficiency, but of condescension. For what can servants render unto the Lord for all his benefits towards them? Psalm 116 verse 12 And sometimes he has condescended to number this also, among his other benefits towards them, namely, to do greater works by them than apart from them. Did not that rich man go away sad from his presence when seeking counsel, counsel about eternal life? He heard and cast it away, and yet, and yet in after death the counsel that fell on his ears was followed. Not by one, but by many, when the good master was speaking by the disciples. He was an object of contempt to the rich man, when warned by himself directly, and of love to those whom by means of poor men he transformed from rich into poor. Here then, you see, he did greater works when preached by believers than when speaking himself to hearers. But there is still something to excite thought in his doing such greater works by the apostles, for he said not, as if merely with reference to them, the works that I do shall you do also, and greater works than these shall you do, but wishing to be understood as speaking of all that belong to his family, said, he that believes on me the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do. If then he, has, he that believes shall do such works, he that shall do them not is certainly no believer. Just as he that loves me keeps my commandments. 
chapter 14, verse 21, implies, of course, that he who keeps them not, love not. In another place also he says, He that hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him unto a wise man who built his house upon a rock. And he therefore who is like this wise man without doubt, either hears these sayings and does them not, or fails even to hear them. He that believes in me, he says, though he die, yet shall he live. Chapter 11, verse 25. And he therefore that, that shall not live is certainly no believer now. In a similar way also it is said here, He that believes in me shall do such works. He is therefore no believer who shall not do so. What have we here then, brethren? Is it that one is not to be reckoned among believers in Christ, who shall not do greater works than Christ? It were hard and reasonable, intolerable, to suppose so, that is, unless it be rightly understood. Let us listen then to the Apostle when he says, To him that believes on him that justifies the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. Romans chapter 4 verse 5 this is the work in which we may be doing the works of Christ, for even our very believing in Christ is the work of Christ. It is this he works in us, not certainly without us. Hear now, then, and understand, he that believes on me the works that I do shall he do also. I do them first, and he shall do them afterwards, for I do such works that he may do them also. And what are the works but the making of a righteous man out of an ungodly one?